Chris Maldonado from the Galaxy Guy podcast coming to you guys live at one of the many viewing parties hosted by the supporter groups after the LA Galaxy's 3-2 win over Inter Miami in Miami. Let's see if we can get some fan interaction. Let's see if we can get some, some fan reactions post-game. See what they thought of the Jose, game. Josue, let me ask you something, man. How exciting was that win for you today? Very exciting. I lost my voice, actually. So um, it's very exciting. You know, I'm happy and that we got the three points. Let's do this. What's your opinion of Chicharito? Uh, Chicharito sucks, but <laughs> I'm kidding. No, I'm very happy he scored the two goals because he boosts up his ego. So uh, hopefully, hopefully he does good this year, man. Those were some classic Chicharito goals, like poaching right then and there. The usual, the usual. What do you think? Is he going to get to at least 15 goals this season? The way he was playing today, I doubt it. But if he gets those toe pokes, <laughs> then yeah, he'll get to 15 goals. <laughs> we'll see 15 toe poke goals. You heard it here first, folks. There you guys. All right. Ahí está. Back to Brian. They call me Two Chan. Two Chan. So, what did you think about that game, man? How exciting was that win? It, it was great. You know, we needed that win. You know, at that uh, horrible last season, but you know, hopefully this season we pick it up. And let me ask you, who was the man of the match? <laughs> like we say, Subek, as soon as he came in, he gave it a chicharito. That's all we needed. Hey, you know? I'm not gonna lie. I've been very critical of Zubak, but. The boy put in some work, man. He put that he put that offense to work. Yeah, even though he looked lost, but hey, those passes, they were on it. Right on, man. So going forward, what do you what do you predict for the LA Galaxy this season? Are they gonna make it to the playoffs? Are they gonna win the cup or what? Playoffs. Playoffs, playoffs, playoffs. Polo menos. All right, well you heard it here, folks. Playoffs at the minimum for the LA Galaxy. First game of the season, how how good does that feel for you? It feels great. Uh, who was the man of the match? Man of the match, honestly, Chicha, just because he scored two goals and he got those out of the way. So what, what's your what's your what's your uh, <laughs> what's your prognostication for the rest of the season? Are we gonna are we gonna make playoffs this year? Playoffs, yes. MLS Cup, maybe not, but I'm hoping so. At least playoffs. Play All right, well you heard it here, man. We're at least gonna make playoffs this season. Javier's optimistic. We'll see. We'll see what the Galaxy can bring. with Jonathan post game after that three to two win LA Galaxy over Inter Miami let me ask you Jonathan how good do you feel right now I feel excited so there we go you know what I mean now, let me ask you something that first half compared to the second half what were the feelings domination we were dominating um, Miami had had a great impact on us but we can't let them slide. We won't accept that because we are the LA Galaxy. Eso. So, now let me ask you, who was the man of the match that game? I want to give it a chicha because this is what everybody's been expecting from this man. And we need him to score goals because he is our goal scorer. So therefore, I'm going to have to give it to him, even though I don't want to, but it has to be for him. Yeah. Now going forward this season, now it's very early to say because it is the first game of the season, but going forward, what are your predictions for this season? Does the LA Galaxy make the playoffs? Yes, we are going to make the playoffs. We got a bunch of young stars out there. You know, that's what we need. We need them young cats to get along with these old cats and get a good chemistry going on. So I definitely feel like we are playoff material. So that's what I like to hear, Jonathan. Now let's send a message to David Beckham. What do you got to say to David Beckham? Hey, David. Beckham, I'm sorry for the dub we took today, but hey, thank you for playing for the LA Galaxy. That's so all right. So I am here with the original LA Galaxy fan. That is Miss Linda Pickle. She, of course, needs no introduction. I'm sure everyone out there in Galaxy Land knows exactly who she is. But Linda, let me ask you, how excited are you after that LA Galaxy win? Oh my God, that was so exciting. I'm, and then seeing Zubak come in there and everyone's like, no, not Zubak. I'm going, yes, Zubak is a great player and he's great hitters. And look at, he created two assists to, for two goals. 
and it wouldn't have happened without him. So if I were to ask you who the man of the match was, who would you say the man of the match was? Ethan Zubak. <laughs> I really think he was because he made the difference because Chicharito was there the whole time, couldn't do anything. And then Zubak came in and then all of a sudden it clicked. Now, I was actually sitting with you at the same table during the game. During that first half, I saw your face, and you were very disappointed in the team. It was very visible on your face. What was the difference between that first half and the second half? How did you feel between both halves? Well, actually, I thought they played really well. But and then towards the end, it's like, okay, nothing's happening, nothing's happening. But I loved how they were playing. But then, you know, the excitement. I'm sorry, Zubac came in, and all of a sudden, everything changed. And so, yeah, that's why Zubac's my MPD. <laughs> right on. So after what you saw today with the LA Galaxy, it's very early to tell because it is the first game of the season. But going forward, going ahead, what do you predict for this LA Galaxy team? Are they going to flounder or are they going to make the playoffs or are they going to get MLS Cup? What do you think, Linda? I think we'll make the playoffs. I think it's a little too soon. We could do the MLS Cup, but I believe we'll make the playoffs for sure because I saw a lot of differences so much better than last year. And Vanny is making a lot of difference in the team and the way they're playing. And just think, this is just the first real game when, you know, when they have more time playing together and stuff. I think they'll click even more than they are now. Right on. It, you're no stranger to MLS Cups, Linda. You've been to one or two before, right? I think we're overdue for an MLS Cup. How big would that be for you if the LA Galaxy got to MLS Cup this season under Greg Vanny? Oh, that's a dream come true. To see the old school bring the new school and then win the cup again. Oh my God, we're overdue for another cup. That would be phenomenal. So you heard it here, folks. Linda's very excited for the team. She's optimistic that the team will, at the very least, make playoffs. Linda, would you like to send a message to David Beckham? Yeah, David, you can keep your team. We've got the real team. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here. Sorry, Beckham. We love you, but today you were our enemy. You guys, excellent time. Linda, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Right on. Okay. We unfortunately decided to wear this jersey to this viewing party. So we're sending a very clear message to David Beckham. And what's that message, Douglas? Um, David Beckham with two MLS Cups with the Galaxy, um, with the best players in the world, Lan Donovan, Robbie King. We got Juninho, we got Omar Gonzalez. Hey, come on. You can't hate on my boy, man. Hey, it is what it is. Unfortunately, yeah, it, it, it David happened. Beckham had to lose today. But how good did that win feel? On the road, LA Galaxy, 3-2. to two, How good did it feel? It felt really great. Um, it felt even more better with um, Javier Hernandez Chicharito scoring those two goals. He was long overdue to do that. But other than that, I'm glad that they won the three points off the road. And who was the man of the match that entire game? Um, I'm going to have to go with Chicharito. I'm going to have to go with him because I wish my father was here. He wanted to see that and it happened today. So, yeah. Right on, Douglas. So now let me ask you, going forward this season, it's very early to say it's the first game of the season, but does this LA Galaxy team have what it takes to make it to the playoffs and then maybe make it to MLS Cup? Um, they do. It's just... They just got to learn the chemistry wise, learn to know each other a little more. But I think they got the potential to do it. It just takes time. It's the beginning of the first season, first game. They look like they're coming off hot, off the road, you know, but I think they got it. Right on, Douglas. Appreciate it, brother. Yeah. Thank you very much. Vamos Galaxy. Galaxy. Guy podcast. Vamos Galaxy. Y vamos, vamos Galaxy. <laughs> It's a great pleasure for our guys to step up because we know we had a horrible season last year, but uh, 
we're definitely going to show success this one. So. Well, who was your man of the match that entire game? Uh, you know what? Honestly, Chicharito came up, man. You know, he, he didn't have a strong start, but this season he's showing it. So I do I do uh, show a lot of uh, respect for him, and he came up. He came up today. And what do you think about Victor Vasquez? Oh, yeah, he's a great addition to the team. Um, I'm glad. Uh, yeah, I mean, he had, a good, he had a good run with Toronto. I'm glad he chose us. So, uh, yeah, I, I expect a lot from him, too. I think we're going to have a solid season, honestly. Right on, brother. Right on. David, now let me ask you something. How exciting was that win for you? Oh, it was really exciting. I'm really looking forward to this season. Yeah. Definitely. Prior to, prior to that second half, what was your feeling about the LA Galaxy? I was a little nervous, to be honest with you. I was like, ah, same Galaxy from <laughs> the past couple of years. So, yeah. But then in the second half, definitely, I was like really excited about the comeback. It definitely seemed like a completely different team. A after Zubac came on, he definitely put a spark to the offense. Who was your man of the match? Definitely, I will have to say Chicharito, just because of his two goals. Um, but the whole team as a whole, they, it was really good once Subek uh, came in, just because I feel like they really needed another striker in there, because Chicharito can't really do it all by himself uh, being forward. But if he definitely has a partner in there, it definitely helps out. So it's very early to say it's only the first game of the season. But going forward, what's your prediction for the LA Galaxy, man? Are they going to make the playoffs? Are they going to win the cup or what? For sure, they're going to make the playoffs. I believe they, they will. And for sure, as a Galaxy fan, I want them to win the cup. And I still believe in them. And I feel like we, we could take it all. Well, you're hearing a lot of positivity from the fans right now. So hopefully the Galaxy, at the very least, makes it to the playoffs. Thanks again, David. <laughs> right on, man. So how exciting was that win for you guys? Oh, really exciting, man. I'm... I'm happy, man. I'm more than happy. No words, man, to explain it, man. We haven't had a, a season to start off with an early win on the first game, so it's very, very exciting, man. Well, it's three points on the road, something we haven't seen in a very, very long time. Yeah. That first half had me a little bit worried, but as soon as that second half started, it really seemed to change for the LA Galaxy. Who was the man of the match? I mean, I got to say Chicharito, man. Chicharito did what he had to do, you know? It's, <clears throat> it's kind of like... He knew he knows what he came for, you know. Yeah, yeah. I, I would say Chicharito just on the two goals, but for sure the game changer had to be Zubak. The game, it was a little bit more fast paced with him on top. More crosses were coming in, so the dynamic of the second half was, com you know, completely different than the first half. So we're happy with that. So let's get some predictions. It's very early on. It's only the first game of the season. There's still a long way to go. But predictions: is this is this LA Galaxy team gonna make the playoffs this year, or are they gonna flounder like they did the last couple of years? I mean, I think if they play like how they play today, we have a big possibility of making it to the playoffs. Finals, I, I can't really say, but for sure we'll make it to playoffs. Right on. Yeah, for sure. I think playoffs, I think we'll be there. I be. I think we'll be in the first round. Kind of tough to say right now, man. All these teams are stacking up, and it, it's getting tougher and tougher, and that's what the league is about, you know, making yeah. the league more, better, and tougher. And I, I can see them going a little bit further, but it's tough. We need more players, more high elite players to be uh, playing for Galaxy right Well, right on, man. I appreciate the time, guys. Hey, it feels good to have a Galaxy win, right? Yeah. Hey, right on. LA Galaxy. LA Galaxy, Woo! baby! Woo! Let's go. Going well, going well. Feeling happy with the win. Feeling happy Let with me the ask win. you something. Prior to this game, how excited were you for this season opener? I was very optimistic. I was looking forward to it, but I will admit that I was a bit scared about the goal scoring drought that we had. But today, it proved us all wrong, I think. Now let me ask you, who was the man of the match this game? Today it has to be Chicharito. He came out, proved all the daughters wrong, and he scored two vital goals, and you could probably say the winning goal. How good did this win feel, man, honestly? Honestly, it was really good because we started with the right foot. We knew Miami was going to be a really strong team. They're new. They have a really good influx of money. So it's going to be interesting. So we knew that we had to win. So we will have to win. Let's send a message to David Beckham. What do you have to say to David Beckham? David Beckham, we love you, but if you're going to come against us, we've got to take the win over you. Uh, <laughs> you heard it here. Yeah. Sorry, Bex, but today, not a G anymore. Exactly. <laughs>